to Bochin Out Macrame. My name is Nicole, and we are on day 11 of the 12 days of Macrame Christmas. I hope you guys have been enjoying all of the little projects that we have been releasing over the past week and a half. Because it's day 11, we only have one last project after this, and instead of a YouTube tutorial, we will be hosting another live workshop for that on November 30th. We'll be making a macrame pocket mirror for that live workshop. If you guys are interested, check out the details in the video description below. So for day 11 for the 12 days of macrame Christmas, we will be making a little bear ornament. So I really like making macrame animals. Previously I've made macrame bunny ears and this time I wanted to try something different and made macrame bear ears. I made the bear ears on a 2.5 inch metal ring. You can make it on a wooden ring if you'd like to, that's totally fine. And not only is this project great for an ornament, but if you make it onto a wooden ring, you can use it as baby teethers as well. I do plan on adding more to this animal ear series. If there's any animal in particular you guys want me to do, then make sure to comment in the comments below. If you guys enjoy this tutorial, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And with that, let's get started. Before we begin, you will need some materials and supplies. I used 3mm cotton cord for this pattern along with a 2.5 inch metal ring and some ribbon. The cord I will be using today is a red wood color from our Vibrant Cord line in 3mm, a metal ring, and also some ribbon. This is another version of the bear ornament I made in a separate color in khaki. We do have a variety of different colors in this 3mm Vibrant Cord line. This cord is made from 100% natural cotton, super easy to macrame with, and it's super soft. If you are interested, I will post a link to these in the video description below. To begin one of the bare ears, we are going to start with one strand of cord at 60 centimeters long and we're going to attach it onto the ring using a lark's head knot and then repeat with two more strands of 60 centimeter long cords. We're going to use three strands of cord for each ear. Once all three strands are attached onto the ring, we're going to start with the pattern. But before we do that, to make it easier to macrame with, we're going to tape or pin down the ring. So I'm just going to take some tape and I'm going to tape down the metal ring at the top. The first knot in the pattern that we're going to make is a square knot. Taking the middle four chords of this six chord section, make a square knot. Then we're going to make a series of double half inch knots. Starting with the far right chord as the anchor chord, make a double half inch knot with the cord next to it on the left. We're going to make a series of double half inch knots starting from the right side, curving at the bottom and then all the way over to the left. So taking the next vertical cord, make another double half inch knot until you reach 
the last vertical cord on the left. As you can see from the double half inch knot pattern, it curves like a U shape from right to left. Once we are complete with this first row of double half inch knot, we're going to take that anchor cord that we had used and we're going to make a vertical lark's head knot onto the ring. So take the cord and wrap it from top to bottom through the back of the ring and then pull it through the loop on the right side. Then take that same cord and take the end and go from bottom up from the back and then through the front at the top and through the loop. And then pull on the cord end to tighten. Then using that same cord that we had just made the Lars head knot with, we're going to go back the other way with another row of double half inch knots. So same anchor cord this time, take the next vertical cord to the right and make a double half inch knot on to the anchor cord from left all the way to the last cord on the right. So once you're back to the right side, we're going to do the same thing as we did on the left side and make a vertical Lark's head knot onto the ring on the right side. So we're going to take that cord end and we're going to take it from top to bottom through the back and through the loop on the left. And then taking the cord end through the back from bottom up and then through the front loop. Make sure to pull on the cord end so that the knots are nice and tight. If you need to adjust the knot a little bit to tighten it, do so. I'm tightening the knot a little bit by shifting one section at a time. Once that's complete, we can take the ring out of the tape and then we're going to turn it upside down to seal the back of the bare ear. What we're going to do is make a separate fold in the back and then tuck the loose cord ends in a little pocket that will form. I'm shifting the last row of double half inch knots to the right side just because I want to give some room on the left side for a cord to be threaded through after. So we're going to take that same anchor cord that we made the two rows of double half inch knots with and use it as an anchor cord one last time for one last horizontal row of double half inch knots. So using that short cord as an anchor cord, take the next cord to the left, 
as a working chord for a double half hitch knot. And then we're going to continue with the chords hanging down from the top as working chords for a row of double half hitch knots. This is what the pattern should look like once that is complete. As you can see here, we have some excess cord left over that we're going to weave through a hole on the side. If you have a crochet hook, it makes this step so much easier. What we're going to do is we're going to take that hole that we're going to weave through and that's just the hole in between the two last double half hitch knot rows at the front and we're going to take that anchor cord and pull it from front to back. Once the cord is through, we're going to tuck it underneath and in the pocket that we created at the bottom. So tuck the cord end through the pocket in the bottom. Then cut off all the excess cord from the other vertical cords and also tuck the cord ends into the pocket that we made at the bottom. You are now complete with one side of the bare ear pattern. So we're going to repeat the first bare ear pattern onto the other side of the ring. We're going to make essentially the same pattern, but we're going to start on opposite ends so that when you look at the bare ears at the front, they are symmetrical. Start with the three Lars head knots again, and then we're going to start the pattern. Taking the middle four chords, we're going to make a square knot. And then instead of starting with the far right chord as the anchor chord, we're going to start with the far left chord as the anchor chord this time. Since we started with the far right chord last time, we're going to do the opposite side this time with the far left chord instead. Make a row of double half inch knots curving from left all the way to the right. Then take that anchor cord end and make a vertical Lark's head knot onto the ring on the right side. 
Using the same anchor cord and same vertical cords, we're going to go back from right to left with another row of double half inch knots. Take the anchor cord end and make another vertical larsa knot onto the left side of the ring. Then we're going to take it out of the tape and we're going to use the same anchor cord to make a horizontal row of double half inch knots at the back of the ear from left to right. With the leftover anchor cord, we're going to weave it through the side hole on the right side from front to the back, and then we're going to tuck in that loose cord end through the pocket once we also cut off the excess cord from the other vertical cords. So tuck in the loose cord ends within the pocket that we made. And we are now complete with the bare ears. To finish off this ornament, I'm going to tie a bow with a ribbon at the bottom of the ring. Lastly, we're going to make the handle. So you're going to take a strand of cord at 25 centimeters long and make a lark's head knot onto the middle top part of the ring. So in between the ears. And then finish off with an overhand knot at the very top. And then you are now complete with this lovely bear ornament. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and click subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.